Within King Donut's castle lies the evil Buckstead horse, whose only wish is to destroy all video games. Our hero, Mickey, is the one pup girl that can take him on. But even she will need help from the best of the best of video game trivia to face off against Buff's Bud Horse in the video zone. Will they have what it takes? Will they have what it takes? Welcome to MagFest Versus. Now here's your host. to take you back into the zone MAGFest style. Are you ready? Yeah. Oh my gosh, it's my first MAGFest ever. <laughs> so be gentle with me, all right? <laughs> I'm going to be back though, but today we're going to be doing verses. As you can tell, it's got a kind of the look and the feel of Nick R. A., but it's all the way live now because it's got me this time. And we are going to have ourselves some fun up here. Uh, we're going to be playing some games. We've got contestants who are ready. You just met them. You've got a little bit of the rules going on. I'll be repeating some of them, but that's because some of them are slow. So don't worry about it. <laughs> but we're going to be having a good time. We're going to be having a great time. Look, only thing I'm going to ask you right now is to uh, try to hold back the urge to yell out answers uh, because that just means we've got to get another question which will solve things. And I've got games I want to go back and play. Now, to get down to business, we need the lessons out here and get them ready for gameplay. So, without further ado, let's meet our red team. Come on up here, red team. Give them a hand as they make the way. Up on to the stage. Let's see right here the team. Well, actually, man, in front of the microphone. Let's get over there. Let's get over a little bit there. Microphone, microphone. There we go. All right. Told you they were slow. <laughs> no. Welcome on stage here, and now put your hands together and welcome the yellow team! Ah, oh, man. No music for the yellow team. What a job, dude. So let's do it right now, right? Four days late. All right, listen, let's meet the contestants. I've been having fun with them. I've been having fun with them, but. Um, I know. Is it kind of, do we need to change batteries? Is it a battery thing? Because I will sign the show if necessary. <laughs> you need to change batteries? You're going to change batteries? Okay, look, I talk nice and loud. So if you're going to change batteries, hustle down here. Come on, run right out here. People are waiting. Here we go. Run. No? Nobody's doing nothing? Is he, what's he doing? Nothing? Nothing? Are you changing the battery or not? Someone. Age. <laughs> Oh, okay, got it. Thank you very much. All right, all right. He said I was, uh, I was squeezing the bit a little too tight. So, all right. Thank you very much. All right, good. All right, I'll choke up on the microphone. And uh, now that we've got the technical aspects of the show out of the way, trust me, they were worse on Nick Arcade. Uh, <laughs> <laughs> but let's get to meet our players, starting off with the yellow team. First of all, what is your name? My name's Chris. Chris. And Chris, all right, everybody, a big hand for Chris, yeah? And Chris, Chris, what do you do? I tell you what, you can speak into your own microphone there. What do you do with yourself when you're not uh, hanging out at MAGFest? What do you do? Uh, I go to college at Nova. I'm a student. <laughs> you know, play video games too. All right. <laughs> college yeah. student as prime candidate for video game play, if I ever saw <laughs> one. All right, great, great. Welcome to the show. And your partner, what is your name? Uh, my name's Kat. Hey, Kat, how you doing? <laughs> and Kat, what do you do when you're not MAGFesting? I also go to college, except I don't do my work. I instead play video games. All right. All right, well, that's the yellow team. We're scooting over here to meet the red team. What is your name, sir? My name is Steve. Steve, all right. Steve, welcome to MAGFest. Welcome to Versus. And Steve, uh, what do you do uh, in your spare time? I am a terribly boring adult who plays a lot of video games. Well, see. <laughs> Twenty-five years ago, that's all you needed to be a game show host. All right. 
Welcome to the show. All right, and you, sir, what is your name? I'm Rob. All right, Rob, and uh, same question. There's no mystery. What do you do? Spare time for fun? What do you do when you're not at Magenfesting? Um, I write music. I play video games. I work at Best Buy, and I sleep. All right, Best Buy. 10% discount, my man Rob, right here. It's true. All right, well, uh, we've met all of our contestants. We know who they are. We know that they've got to play a game, but we've got to find out what exactly they'll be up against. And to find out, our lovely and talented announcer, Rochelle's in the back. Hey, Rochelle, what are they going to be up against? <laughs> oh, back again, are we? It appears you have once again underestimated my power. I have captured your King Donut. If you ever want to see your precious Magfest mascot again, I demand you challenge me and prepare to face your inevitable doom. You may have captured our King, but I have captured our gamer's hearts. These players have the spirit and the determination to take you down once and for all, Buff Stud Horse. Together we will fight you and bring freedom back to all the gamers here in our fair land. You have spirit, young one. But do your challenges really know their stuff? We shall find out. Bring it on! Hey! We gotta do a little donut wrestling. Alright, players, head on back right there. Head on back. We're going to do a little pre-donut wrestling, um, and um, they're going to be up against some major challenges. Um, so I think now it's the time for the lovely and talented Rochelle. You've got something to tell me about what's going on here? Serve up some sweet shots in the Candy Kingdom with sweet tennis. Each player must serve the gumball into their opponent's goal while guarding their own. Hit the gumball four times in one hand to serve up a spicy shot. But be careful. Opponents can send the ball back with their very own special attack. Back to you, Phil. All right, so that's what we're going to be doing now. We're going to be playing some sweet tennis to determine which team is actually going to go first when we get to our main playing board. So right now, we're setting up our red team players. They're going to play. Then we're going to have the yellow team players play. And whoever gets the best score will actually be moving Mickey when we actually start the game. So they're getting all set up right now. They're going to be back there. Guys, are you ready for your opportunity? Right now, we've got a player from each team back there. How do you think your, how do you, how do you think your player is going to do? I think he's going to Oh, are you on? I will go back there with you. We're having mic problems, that's okay. I will be the mic man. Here, let me come over to you. So the question again was, you got your teammate back there. How do you think your player's gonna do? He's going to do amazing. Oh, amazing, all right. All right, and uh, you've got your teammate back there. How do you think she's gonna fare? I think she'll do even better. Oh, she'll do. <laughs> we got amazing and we've got even better than amazing. That's amazing error. yeah. Well, like I said, this is going to be the determine when we actually get to the actual main gameplay. This is sort of our MAGFest versus coin toss, if you would. So each one's going to be back there. There's going to be a lot of uh, uh, hitting of the spearmint things and the candy that you have to destroy. Matter of fact, this entire game show is like giving me a cavity. I'm going to leave, leave here with diabetes. There's so much sugar in this thing. But um, so I want you two to uh, cheer your players on because this is really for like who's going to go first. Now, as we said already, all points are worth 20. I mean, all points are worth 25 points and and as we play along there's going to be lots of other things that we're going to be doing but our players are ready so let's get going with the action on your mark get set go all right we've got music so that means something's happening if nothing else i'll just sing this up
Mikey back in this mofo. <laughs> All right, we're gonna reset, a little technical glitch. You know, in TV land, what we would have done is, we would have paused, you would never have seen it, we would have edited it out, but it's live, people. You get the experience, full funnel screw up. All right, here we go, ready, set, go! Somebody's got a point over there. So right now it's one to nothing. Or is it one one? It's one one. I cannot see. Oh, it looks like it's one one so far. Now remember, this is to find out which team is actually going to be going first in moving the game board around when we start the main play. And right now it looks like we're at a tie. One one. And there's a lot of bouncing back and forth. While they play. Like they're still going. So right now it's uh we have two points on one side and one point on the other. Think one. Well, in the first round of Sweet Tennis, the winner was the Yellow Team! Yeah! All right, our players are coming back up on stage. Here they are, making them a whole careful cat. Way to go, cat! Way to go, cat. We like it like that. Woo! All right, so Pat, you have won for your team the right to move first. And there is the board up there, and uh, let's find out what's going to be happening from our wonderful announcer. Hey, Rochelle, what's going on? Mickey will be traveling the lands of sweet and jolly Candyland. Fill your sweet tooth with lollipop trees, rainbow ice cream roads, and cotton candy. But beware. Buff's evil minion, the Candy Rock Knight, is out there and will do anything to stop you. Back to you, Phil. All right. Now listen, one thing you have to be aware of up here, um, there's some actual things they're going to be doing. you got to move Mickey either up, down, or left and right. And as you move along the way, you're going to run into our five Ps. Points, puzzles, pop quizzes, and prizes. <laughs> and... With Mac Fed versus, it's a physical challenge up there. That's the fifth P. Now, be careful because, listen, if you yell out the answer, you're going to cause something really awful to happen. I mentioned it earlier today, so please don't yell out the answer. We have uh, so many questions. We want to keep the game moving. If you yell out an answer, something horrid happens. And let me give you an example. Let's just say, let's just say the question was, um, at the end of Crash Bandicoot, uh, when he finishes the round, he does a little dance. What kind of dance is that? And you, OK, see, if you yelled out twerking, like beavers and butt face back there. <laughs> then this is what happened. Oh. Yes. See? Look. Oh. 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 Wow. Ah, yes. The Rock Knight is brutal, isn't he? I'd heed his warning well. We're men in tight, tight tights. Uh, <laughs> that's what's going to happen. We have plenty of other video game systems. We might even have yours. Please <laughs> do not yell out any answers. All right, our players are ready. Hey, players, are you ready for your, ready to go? Hell yeah. Ready to get going. Okay, so 
Right now, each question, 25 points. If you get it wrong, you lose control, and it goes over to the other team. The other team, since you guys won sweet tennis, you get to move Mickey first. Which way would you like to move Mickey? We're going to move Mickey up. Okay, Mickey's going up. Pop quiz! Pop quiz. All right, I'm going to go over here to my handy dandy area where I have a bunch of questions for you. And I've got a pop quiz question for you right now. <clears throat> All right, so this is right now, everybody listen up because yellow team, you might be able to steal this, okay. In Kirby Superstar, what is the name of the bird that carries Kirby back to Handbeigler in Revenge of the Meta Knight? Don't say anything, <laughs> is it? Oh, you, oh you, already don't, you don't even need, well, right now this is just really for the yellow My team. Oh. Yeah. <laughs> but, but that's okay, Th thank you for your enthusiasm. <laughs> He's a premature buzzer, all right. <laughs> All right, but let me give you this. You actually have, you actually have some options here. Is it, is it A? Uh, oh, wow, I can't even pronounce this. Hang on, I'm gonna need some help. Come here, come here, come here, come here. How many pronunciations here? Okay, tell me. Is it Dynablade or? Is it DDD or? Squawk. Dynablade, DDD, or Squawk? It's Dynablade. It is Dynablade. That is absolutely right. You get 25 points. Woo! And not only do you get 25 big old points, you keep control of Mickey. Where do you want to move Mickey now? Don't go, Lev. <laughs> I don't get out much often. <laughs> All right, no, Lev, which way do you want to move? You can go up, don't go back down, or you can go to the right. Uh, to the right. All right, to the right. Let's see what happens. It's a prize! Oh, man. The holiday season just keeps on giving, and Rochelle's gonna tell you what you're gonna get. Deep from within the Daedric Prince of Madness's own private collection, it's cheese. Yes, delicious, wholesome cheese with a variety of flavors, including cheddar, Havarti, and Gouda. Con <laughs> It's a great <laughs> box right there. It's a Muppet Babies. It is a, all right, see, here's the thing. It might be cheese, but this isn't a Muppet Baby lunchbox. Muppet Babies, we make our dreams come true. Yeah, very nice. Well, have fun with that. You know what? I'm like you. I wish it was Space Camp. Um, <laughs> <laughs> all right, so where are we? We at 25 points. You still have control. Um, and you still get to move Mickey again. You can go up, down, or to the right. We'll go right again. All right, Mickey's moving right. Dun, 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 dun. I did that just for you. Oh. Yellow challenge! Yellow team! Yellow team's coming over here. We're gonna play in MacFest. Yeah, yellow team, that means get off your butt and follow me this way. Dun, 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 dun. dun. Watch your step and you will die. Come on, come on down, easy. Play, um, boom. All right, come on down, take a hop down. All right, we are on our way over here and we've got three games for you to choose from. Uh, number one, we've got at the top, Kingdom Bash. Down here we have Clash Cup, Cup Turbo. And over there we have Battle Sloth. So right now I need both of you to stand right here. I need you to face this wonderful crowd. Let them see your happy faces. Look at these happy faces. And I need for both of pick you to pick a game for me. What do you think? Let's do Kingdom Bash. Kingdom Battle. Kingdom Bash is what they're going for. All right, Kingdom Bash. All right, so uh, let's see. We're gonna, who's going to play? You're going to play. All right, okay. I want you to stand right here in a uh, chair. And uh, you, I want you to come over here and grab a controller. Um, hey, what is your name, by the way, guy? Lyle. Lyle, everybody say hi to Lyle. Lau is our technical um, uh, guy right here. Before you get playing, we're going to 
quick little demo, show everybody out there how you need to play the game. Let's roll the footage of Kingdom Bash and our little MAGFest versus ah, demo. Ah, yes, Kingdom Bash. Fun fact, this game is based on a true story of love, deception, and betrayal. Not to mention the upcoming screen adaption is rumored to have cast Carrie Elwells as the wisecracking goblet. Elwells. <laughs> it's harder to say than I thought. In this twin stick shooter, both the left and right thumbsticks work to move and aim your character. Arm your bow, hold down the right trigger, and take aim. Fire, release the right trigger. Your left trigger will be used to dash around, but this has a cooldown period. You will want to attack the slimes. Kill as many as you can, and quickly as you can. Ideally, you want to reach the target amount within the allotted time. Be wary of the circles underneath your character. This is how many shots you have available, so use them wisely. There are also a wide range of power-ups for you to pretend to know how to use, so go find them and impress all of your friends. Now that you've completed your training, I'm promoting you to Kingdom Bash Commander-in-Chief. Don't let us down. All right, there you go, Kingdom Bash. So, I want you to step up here to the table or get wherever you need to be in order to see uh, the game, in order to play it well. And um, let's see, Kingdom Bash, once again, for those who weren't listening <laughs> like me, you have to get 15 points in 60 seconds. 15 points in 60 seconds. Is everybody ready? Yeah. Are you ready, Chris? All right, the game is ready. On your mark, get set, go! All right, so the balls get 15 points. And oh! All right, so right now he's got uh, four points. 43 success up to five. You're at seven points right now, time is ticking. You're almost, it's half your time is almost done. All right, you're doing, okay, you're doing much better. Eight, you have eight points. Ten, with 30 seconds left to go back. All you gotta do is get five more points in the half, uh, half a minute you have remaining. All right, doing great, that's up to 12. I think this is gonna happen, Captain. We're at 13 points, two more to go with 18 seconds left. 17, 16, 15, that's it right there, Chris. You did it, buddy. You did it, man. All right, put down the controller. Careful hitting back up on top of that, on that stage right there. Uh, make your way up there, just step up high, boom. Chris, you saying to you, buddy. All right, and uh, since you did it, guess what we're gonna do? We're gonna adjust your score and play some more. You guys got 25 points, Adam, right there, boom. Add the 25 points on there, we're up to 50. And because you did it right, guess what? You get to move Mickey again. Where do you wanna move Mickey? <laughs> you go up, you go down, you go to the right. We'll go up. All right, we're going up. We're moving on up. Oh! <laughs> Woo! Whacked in the head. Yeah, I know. That, that. No, no, no! No! No, the, no, the people! No! Not the game, kill! <laughs> <sighs> you see what you did there? You see what you did? You made him angry, you made all of us feel bad, and you lose control. Now the red team gets to move Mickey. All right, so here's the thing, red team. You can move uh, Mickey to the left or to the right. Um, you could move down, but that'd be really stupid. <laughs> um, so where would you like to do, move Mickey? Remember, you're trying to get to the goal. <laughs> Uh, so, where would you like to move Mickey? <laughs> oh, they're actually having a discussion. <laughs> they have to get to the goal. It's not that hard. You left or right? I don't know. They've only locked off every, uh, every possible way to get there. We're going to go right. You, really? Yeah. I, I think that's good. You guys could have been contestants on Nick Arcade. <laughs> All right, let's move Mickey to the right. Hey! hey. You get a prize. Hey, Rochelle, what did they win? Tired of those boring and generic dance dance revolution dance pad patterns? Well, have we got the perfect replacement for you. It's a high school musical three dance dance revolution. Whoa. Wow. That's just beautiful. 
The boys are back. The boys are back. Yeah. I mean, High School Musical 3, Dance Revolution Pad. Man, you better hang on to that because I might just snag that off you. <laughs> I mean, we are all in this together. Yes, so. we are. We're all. All right. We got, we got two song references from High School Musical and for guy, from guys that are over 30. That's really good. <laughs> <laughs> all right. Well, now, wait, 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 wait. Here's the $6 million question, Red Team. Where do you want to move Mickey now? <laughs> That's a good question. Where's the, where's the game? There we go. Oh, they were looking at me. No, we have to look at the game, folks. All right, so where would you like to move Mickey? Oh, let's talk about it. Oh, I don't know. Maybe, let's see, maybe we should go, maybe we should like catch it. Maybe we should grab a balloon like it. Yeah. Mickey goes up, yeah. Maybe Mickey can get down. I don't know. Maybe we should, Maybe we can just go, let's step on the bomb. Can, can, can we go down? Uh, no, you cannot. There's no, no little can't. line that goes down. No, there's only, there's no little line that oh, connects the there. pad oh, to shit. the pad. Oh. We want to go to the goal then. Can we, can we, yeah, look, um, yeah, help him out. We're going to go to the goal. You're going to go where? We're going to go to the right. You're going to go to the right. Yeah. <sighs> You're at the goal! All right. You are at the goal, and that means that it is time now for you to get your big points. And let me just ask, uh, I'm asking back there in the back, is the goal, uh, what, the same points, or are the points double for the goal? All right, double for the goal. So that means if you get this answer right, you will tie the score for round one. Okay, so let me show you how we do this. Um, since uh, you are at the goal, red team, and you will be answering the question, we're going to make it a little more difficult. We're going to put that difficulty in the hands of the red team. Red team, there are three categories up there. You're going to choose what category that, th I'm sorry, yellow team. Yellow team, let's try that again. <laughs> okay, so here we're going to make it a little more difficult. We're going to put the control of your question in the hands of the yellow team. Yellow team, you're going to have to choose from one of the three categories that the red team will have to answer. So the categories are Dream Landing, Metal Gear Comedy, or Console Politics. If you take a look right over the yellow team, you can see them right there on the monitor. You get to choose the category for which the red team will have to answer the question. So yellow team, choose their poison. We're going to give them Console Politics. All right, console politics. It's over here somewhere. Uh, console politics, console politics. There's a question for it. Here it is. All right, got it right here. All right, red team, just so everybody knows, this is a double the points. 50 big old points, you're back in the game. The score will be tied if you get the answer to this question correct. The question is, what company did Nintendo attempt to partner to make their own first CD console system. They ended up with their own console. <laughs> when they ended up with their console, it ended up breaking, the talks broke down. So what company did Nintendo attempt to partner with to make their first CD console system who ended up making their own console system when talks broke down? Yes. Sony. Sony it is! <laughs> And that, children, is how PlayStations are born. <laughs> all right, well, as we take a look at the score now, it is all tied up. 50, yeah. 50, let's get the score up there. Boom, 50, 50, it's anybody's game. We're starting all over again, folks. The score is tied. It's time for round two, second first, same as the first. We're going to determine which team is going to be going first by a little round of sweetness. Sweet tennis! So I want the other two players that didn't play the first time to head on to the back there. We're going to get you set up. Again, this is our sort of uh, versus version of flipping the coins here. We're going to find out which team was actually going to go first when we go back to the main gameplay. While they're getting all set up back there uh, to find out what's going on. Hey, Rochelle, should I be talking to you right now? Mickey has finally made it to King Donut's castle, but Buff has changed sweet gum chunks and peppermint sticks to pools of oh. molten caramel dreary and double I bubble gum I trouble. Mickey must jump from brownie to brownie to reach the goal, but watch out, 
the Candy Rock Knight is still out there wafering for you. Back to you, Phil. Well, that's the new boy. I know, dang, right? The board has changed, but the stakes are still the same. So your partners are back there right now. They're getting ready. I'm going to come up here and uh, find out what's on your mind while we are waiting for them to get all set up. So listen, you saw what they had to do. You did right last time. You ended up winning the, uh, the toss-up, if you would, for your team. How do you think Chris is going to do? I think he'll do all right. Yeah? Yeah. yeah. And, and, and why do you give him such a vote of confidence aside from the fact that he's just your partner? What makes you think he's going to do all right? He's good at video games. All right, he's good at video games. That's it. All right, all right, all right. All right, so look, you've got your partner back there, okay? Yep. Um, you've managed to come back and tie up the score. Uh, so how do you think he's going to do now with respect to getting control for your team? The only reason I lost was because of that ricochet shot. Uh huh. So if no crazy shit like that happens, he's got it. Oh. <laughs> I almost had that. So let me get this straight. You no, know I almost had that. Let me get this straight. Oh, oh well, you know what? I'm not even going to delay. The game is ready. Yellow team, by the way, they say is on the left-hand side. Red team is on the right-hand side. On your mark, get set. Go! Sweet tennis. Oh, I got to play me so sweet tennis. Get the bellow to sweet tennis. Woo! Sung back there more. Yeah. Oh, sweet tennis. Woo! Oh, look at that. Sweet tennis. The ball's going back and forth. Somebody's got to win. Because if we got a tie, damn it, we got to do it again. Sweet tennis. Sweet tennis! Somebody's getting it for me! Oh! Totally smoked the red team! Oh my gosh! Three zip! Alright, well, you said he was going to do okay. We didn't do okay. He spiked that booty! <laughs> I mean, like I said, he's good at video games. He's good at video games. All right, well, listen, our teams are coming back out right now. Uh, and as they make their way back out onto the stage, give them a big round of applause for that round of sweet tennis. <laughs> All right, so it looks like the yellow team won their round. So yellow team, again, no points exchange for that. But here we are back up there. There's Mickey. Look, at she's out in the street all by herself. Um, I don't know why she's out late at night without parental assistance, but there she is just roaming around with her candy, just looking for damn trouble. <laughs> um, but there she is. You've got control. So I guess you need to let me know if you want to move Mickey to the right or if you want to move Mickey down. There is no diagonal. Choose a direction. Down last time. Let's go down. Wait, hold on. Did, did Red win? Hang on. Let me double. Hey guys. Hey guys in the back. Did Red win or did Yellow win? Yeah. Red. Yellow. Okay. Yellow won. Correct. No. All right. Red won. No. Okay. So let me explain. In my ear, someone's saying Yellow. Did uh, you uh, win? But then we have him saying he won. So let's uh, let's ask let's ask Nugget. 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 Who won? All right, all right, well, there we go. From the voice from beyond, Nugget said it was actually the red team that won. Okay. So, all right, all right, all right. So I'm just, you know, yellow, yellow is all on my ear, but you know what, I want to make sure we play this game fairly. So, uh, so it's the red team that won, uh, and I gave you all of these compliments when really you suck. Um, I kind of take them back, uh, and, yeah, and I owe you a heartfelt apology. Uh, both of you did extremely well. No, you didn't. You didn't do well. You got your butt handed to you <laughs> in a game of sweet tennis. <laughs> all right, so now that we've gotten all that straight, red team, no points have been exchanged, but you do have control of Mickey. Where would you like the mover? We'd like to go down. All right, well, Mickey would like to go down. Hey, hey. It's time for another pop quiz. So as I make my way over here to the questionos, uh, you guys be prepared to answer this question for your pop 
quiz. All right, so here we go. Your question is, what Williams arcade game was the first to use stereo sound with the catchphrase, like, beware, I live? Was it? Bostonian, was it Defender, or was it Sinistar? Sinistar. Was it Bostonian, Defender, or Sinistar? Don't yell out the answer, folks. Yeah? What do you want, red team? Simstar? It was Sinistar. Yes, it was. And just like that, they have come from behind to take over the lead with another 25 points. The score is now 75 for red team, 50 for the yellow team. And red team, guess what? You maintain control of Mickey. Where'd you like to move her? We're going to go right. All right. Mickey's going to the right. Dun, 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 dun. It's a prize! Hey, Rochelle, tell the red team what they just won. It's the AT&T 1750 digital answering machine. Ooh, yes! All right! Yeah, baby! Yeah! Woo! Take it! Yeah! Oh, yeah! Be one with it. Hook that up to your rotary cell phone. Yeah! Nice. Wow. And not only did you land, not only your cell phone will be set. Exactly, yeah. man. We're we'll get you a VCR now, next round. <laughs> All right, but right now for this round, how about moving Mickey again? What's your direction? We'll go right again. All right, they're going right again. Oh, oh. oh no, there he is again. Oh. No, 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 that's a PlayStation 2 controller. No, come on, no, no, please, let him go! Oh, oh, oh man, that, that one hurt because, that one hurt, PlayStation 2 controller, Need for Speed, PlayStation 2 Black Edition, damn! Oh. All right, well, unfortunately for you guys, uh, you lost control, you're still in the lead, yellow team, Time to make a run on them. You get the move, Mickey. What direction? All right, down. All right, Mickey's going down. <laughs> video challenge once again. Yellow team, make your way over here for the video challenge round. Be careful coming off this stage here. We've got some games that you have a chance to play. Add more points to your score. And uh, here... All right, so it's the same games without Kingdom Bash because you played that already. So now you've got your choice of the other two, Clash Cup Turbo or Battle Sloss. Uh, which game would you like to play? All right, they're going for Clash Cup Turbo. And once again, who's going to be our player? Oh, my gosh! Cat's going to play this time. All right. All right, well, Kat, you stand right there. Chris, you stand over here some more support. And before you get to play, we're going to take a little demo video look to see how this has to go down. So let's take a look. Welcome to Clash Cup Turbo. Super Advanced Tournament New Challenger Gold MagFest versus HyperX Championship Edition 3. The objective is simple. Score 20 goals in 60 seconds or less, preferably not more. You score goals by hitting pucks through any of the four goals, but there are pegs in your way, so you will have to hit those with a puck first to clear a path. But be careful, they will regenerate over time. The controls are as follows. Analog stick enables you to run around like a crazy person, and for that extra bit of crazy, you can swing your sword to hit pucks using the A button. Oh, and if you see a blue target appear over your head, don't worry, you're not about to get shot. It means your special move is active, and you can press B to fire it. If you found that using your special move was thoroughly entertaining, you can do it as many times as you like, provided you recharge it by collecting the blue orbs. Well, that just about sums it up. Have fun, good luck, and don't forget that the entire planet's survival is hinged upon your success. No pressure. <laughs> Go get them, Tiger. All right, Chris, I want you to step up here with me because this is round two. Chris, I want you to come up here with me. Now, this is round two. We're going to do round two a little bit different than we did round one. Okay, Chris. You have 50 points and your team is behind. This is a board. Hold on to that. This right here is a marker. You're going to need to wager some of your points 
on how much you think you think she's going to beat the game. You can wager one point. You can wager all 50. But if she gets it wrong, you will lose those points. Will they lose the points? Am I saying this wrong? Will they lose the points in the back? Let me know. All right, so if you wager and she doesn't beat the challenge, you will lose whatever you've wagered. So here, I want you to take this right here, and I want you to uh, stand right here. I want you to write down your wager, but don't show anybody. Write down oh, before mean, she starts playing. You've got 50 oh, points. You could uh, make a commanding lead. If it were a regular question, it'd only be 25 points. All right, I'll, uh, I'll do this. He's thinking he's going to write some down. <laughs> All right, boom. Okay, so I'm going to put this down right here. We're going to keep this hidden. All right, you can go back over there for some moral support. Hey, Kat, are you ready? All right, here we go. Now remember, you've got to beat, uh, you've got 15, uh, 15 uh, score 15 goals in 60 seconds. 15 goals in 60 seconds. On your mark, get set, go. Uh, Um, okay. <laughs> Lyle, you got one job, man. One job. All right, we're starting over. Let me know when you're ready. No, Look at they're over here. All right, they're gonna try it again. All right, let's see. Let's see if we get one. So what happens now? Start is repressed. <laughs> Sixty seconds. Fifteen goals. Nothing's going on. Nothing's going on. Third time is a charm, folks. Third time is a charm. You know, we didn't have this much problem with Nick Arcade, and it was 1992. <laughs> but that's okay. Things happen. The guys are working it out. Uh, we got through the last uh, video challenge. Uh, and let's try it again. Let's see what happens. I don't see the little man in the middle that does the thing. I do not see. All right. Okay, I'll tell you what. Apparently we're having um, incorrectable uh, uh, problems with this game. So you know what we're, we're going to do is we have a kind of controller. Here's what we're going to do. Chris, come over here with me. Turn around. Everybody face uh, the out here so that people can see your lovely faces. Cat, turn around. Don't be scared. There we go. Thank you so much. All right, I know. She's all disappointed. She wanted to play. Everybody a big off a cat. Aww. Get over it, it's MAGFest. Um, <laughs> all right, cool. All right, here's what we're gonna do. We're gonna play the last remaining game that was up there, uh, Battle Sloss. So we're gonna start all over again. You two get to decide who's going to play, uh, and uh, we'll do a re-wager. They're thinking right now. Let's see, what are you gonna do? Yeah, what's going on? They're thinking. Twins and Suda, yeah, what are you gonna do? Yeah, you're gonna, she, oh, Kat, you're gonna do it again? Kat's gonna go, oh, she's going for redemption. I like that. All right, so look. I want you, uh, here, leave that over there. I want to take this one right here. Uh, now, I'm going to give you an opportunity to re-wager because it is a different game. So uh, take the marker, uh, take this board right here, and we'll just uh, toss this one over here. And I want you to re-wager. Now again, 50 points. I'm by 75, I mean by 25 points. So, I know, 75, that was kind of crazy. That's that new math. Uh, you're behind by 25 points, you get the wager. Write it down right now while she is uh, standing there waiting patiently. And uh, if she beats it, we'll add that to your score. If she doesn't get it, we're gonna subtract this from your score. All right, a new wager has been made. We're crossing our fingers, hoping that this one works. Cat, are you ready? She's like, I was ready last time, Phil. <laughs> All right, let's see if we can get this game going. Welcome oh, to Battle Sloth. We got a little demo a game for you. where you do battle as a sloth while standing and looking very much like one in real life. Uh, seriously, stand up straight. This game is pretty simple, but I will dumb it down because I took one look at the contestants and thought it would be prudent to do so. Controls are as follows. Move with the left thumbstick and aim with the right thumbstick. Uh, yes, I think that was the right way around. The right trigger will shoot your weapon. Pressing X or left bumper will pick up weapons. You will want to pick up these weapons because sloths are not terribly good at hand-to-hand -hand combat. Don't look at me, that was God's decision, not mine. Lastly, right bumper or B will do a dodge roll. The aim of the game is to kill sloths. Take their slices of pizza once they are dead, bring them back to your base. Much like ordering pizza in real life, only instead of leaving a tip, you leave a trail of destruction. Once you have collected enough slices of pizza, you complete your pie and you emerge victorious. The loser goes home in shame with no pizza, a dented ego, and a lowered sense of self-worth. <laughs> Brilliant. 
All right. That's what you have to do. You have to collect eight pizza slices in 60 seconds. All right. So you grab the controller. Is it that, that one right there? Okay. Eight pizza slices in 60 seconds. And three, two, one, go. All right. So we've got here. Where are we? Let's see if we've got. We've got none right now. All right. Come on. Come on. Got to slice. Got to slice. Got a couple of them. Come on. Drop them off. Come on. Drop them off. Bring them here. Boom. All right. All right, that says nothing. You gotta get 20 seconds left. Save it all. We're getting down to 10 seconds. I don't see any slices in there. You gotta bring it back. Five, four, four three, three, two, two one. Oh. <laughs> All right, well, according to what I saw, you know, I'll check with the judges in the back. It looks like they got none? None? None. All right, well, listen, hey, no problem. Um, hey, Chris, Kat, make your way back to your seats here. Um, and uh, we've got to do a little adjusting of your score before we play some more. Um, so this is the second board that uh, Chris uh, wrote his uh, prediction on, his wager, I should say. And uh, we're going to do a little subtraction and uh, you already were behind by 25 points, and Chris wagered 36 points. 36 points. Oh. Now you know, let me tell you something. It's my job as a professional game show host to say, that's all right, there's still a lot of show left, we got more games to play, you can come from behind, but really, come on. <laughs> but anything could happen because remember there's still another square there the red team now has control but if they get it wrong they have an opportunity to steal and then there's the goal where the points are double it still could happen so stay in this stay in this all right red team you have control move mickey we're gonna go right all right mickey's going right Oh! 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 What just happened? No! Oh my god! No! Not the classic Xbox! Not the classic! Oh! Oh man, that just made my tongue itch! Oh! I feel like we need to have a moment of mourning right now. Oh, man. Uh, that was painful. There's no way. But, I, knew it was too good but I know, right? It's horrible. But we got to move on. Uh, and, and guess what? We're moving on right now with the yellow team in control. And that means that the yellow team is headed toward the goal. Um, you know, make us all happy. Just tell us where you want to move in. Don't say anything crazy like they did. Actually, you know what? Wait, hold on a second. Wait a minute. You know what? Everybody's saying stuff. You know, you're actually right. For strategy and point-wise, they actually could go up and around and whatever. That's true. You've got to guys get points. All right. So, hey, I'll leave it up to you. I'll leave it up to you. Do what you want to do. Where do you want to move, Nikki, yellow team? We got to get the people what they want. We're going up. Mickey's going up! All right, this is one of our video puzzles, and here's what's going to happen. We're going to put an image up here on the screen, okay? And you can see it right there on your monitor. And it will be a kind of pixelated d -res. You're not going to be able to see it clearly. And then we're going to bring it into focus slowly. Unfortunately for the yellow team, this is a game in which either team could buzz in and get the points. So the first team that can identify what the d -res image is will get the 25 points. Let's put the image up there, and the first thing to buzz in with the correct answer will get it. 
All right, audience, don't yell out, please. Don't yell out. Remember, this game is tight right now. Oh, uh, okay, look. All right, hang on, hang on. Judges, judges, who buzzed in first, yellow or red? I saw a double slappage. Huh? Okay, well, I'm being told the red team buzzed in first. No. Oh, no. 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 Why boo? No. It was us. It was us. It was I us. hit it first. Uh, I know, everybody can get it now. You got it, I by the way, hey, listen, hey, uh, uh, versus guys, listen, when they buzz in, maybe you should <laughs> stop de rezzing, huh? <laughs> <laughs> Just a little I mean, special game show, a little tip there. there. Um, all right, well, hang on, hang on, hang on, hang on, hang on, hang on. I don't want to make this a popularity contest, but I was told in my ear it was the red team. Everybody out here is saying yellow team. Yeah. Yellow, yellow buzzer one off, okay? On the screen? Okay. All right. See what they say. Hold on a second. What, what, are you, what are you coming to do here? What are you doing? What? Oh, he's fixing it. Oh. All right. All right, you know what? We're going to do another D res. All right, we're going to do another D res. And, and, and yeah, hey, listen. Uh, hey, to my technical people, when the buzzer buzzes, when I say stop, really stop derezzing, because once you make it clear, it's kind of like, you know, oh, yeah, I know it is now. <laughs> <laughs> All right, so we're going to reset. Let's get a, a, off of there. Let's get the second image up there to derez. And wait, don't, don't start it yet. The guy is still fixing. He's still down here doing his thing. Is it? That King DDD. Say it again. That would be King DDD. King DDD? Red was first. All right, Red was there first. And, and he said it was King DDD. Let's bring the picture all the way into view. Let's see who it actually is. Who is it? Who is it? Bring it away. That is correct. That is correct. All right. So we're going to add 25 points to the red team score, making their score now up to 100. But now, here's the thing. Red team, you have a little extra traveling to do now. You cannot go directly to the goal. So why don't you go ahead and move Mickey? We're going to go right. You're going to go to the right. No. Whoa. It is a goal square. That means we're going to zip. Her right to the goal right now. Oh, okay. Yeah, that's what wow. Oh. Well, I, 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 and here we are, once again, like we were the last time. We are at the goal, and what that means is we're going to have three categories to come up here. There's going to be a category that the uh, red team will have to answer uh, a question from. Now, can we get those categories up there on the screen so that they can see what it is they have to, uh, what the categories are. And what I need is a, a new set of categories. Well, that's okay. I'll just go ahead and uh, read them right off the screen here. All right, so yellow team. Yellow team. Here's what we're doing here. Yellow team, are you there? There you are. Okay, yellow team. All right, so in round one, the goal was worth 50 points. Round two, the goal was worth 100 points. All right, so here's the thing. Yellow team, you're gonna choose the category that they have to choose from. And just like last time, red team, you need to answer the question. Now, nobody answer out here because red team, if you get it wrong, yellow team, you could then answer and steal. All right, so the categories you have to choose from are combination mayhem, the only way to death, or it's not over yet. Yellow team, what category do you want to choose for them, and maybe yourself? We're going to give them it's, the, on it's uh, the only way to death. It's the only way to death. It's the only How way to death. All right. Well, I've got the it's the only way to death question in my hand. <clears throat> now, remember, folks, a correct answer by the red team means they walk away 200 points and winner of this game. If they get it wrong, and the yellow team can answer correctly, they will walk away with 114 points and be the winners of the game. So please, no calling out the answers. All right. And by the way, the biggest thing that happens with this is the winner 
will go into the video zone. Yeah. Here we go. Category, the only way to death. The question is, what is the only way to truly die in the secret of Monkey Island? What is the only way to truly die in the secret of Monkey Island red team? That's a fucking curveball. <laughs> Hang on. Shh. Everybody be careful. Quiet. Don't, don't yell at the answer. We're going to give them some time to discuss. A little bit of time to think. They'll let me know in the back when their time is up. Red team is over there doing their, uh, yellow team's doing their, they're doing their thinking. Okay, I'm being told them here. We have 10 seconds. Nine, eight, seven, six, five. I'm going to take a shot in the four. dark. Okay. What's your answer, red team? Killed by pirates? Yeah. That is incorrect. That is incorrect. Now hang on, everybody, don't yell yet, because this is for all the marbles, all the money, and a trip into the video zone as our champions of 2018's MAGFest versus. What do you think the answer is, yellow team? We're going to take a shot in the dark, too, and say drinking yourself to death. All right, hang on, hang on, hold, hold on. That is incorrect. The, ex the correct answer is drown underwater after waiting 10 minutes. Wow. Whoa. Okay. That is Lucas Arts. So I tell you what I'm going to do. At this point now, what I'm going to do is I am going to choose the category. Oh. The category that I've chosen is Combination Mayhem. Again, this is for the red team. Yellow team can steal. The question is, in Kirby 64, the crystal shards, uh, in, in, sorry, let me start over. In Kirby 64, the crystal shards, what form does combining ice and electricity turn Kirby into? Hush, don't yell, don't yell. Red team, red team. A refrigerator? That is correct! It is a refrigerator! That is absolutely correct! Which brings your score up to 200! I come from behind victory! Give it up for the Red Team! Listen, before we let them go, hey, listen, Yellow Team, you guys did a great job. Uh, you're not going to go in uh, to face the uh, uh, bus VR room, but uh, listen, you're going to leave with something really terrific. Hey, Ro uh, Rochelle, what are you going to leave with? Do you love board games? How about, <laughs> how about Jim Carrey? Well, all righty then, you've won The Mask, the 3D board game. Nice! Woo! All right, well listen, um, that is what you get. And uh, the other thing you get is off my damn stage, you lost. <laughs> but as they make their exit, how about a big round of applause for the yellow team, Kat and Chris. Woo! Up there doing it like nobody's business. Guys, stand up, take a bow. You're going to go into the video zone. And, uh, and before we go into the video zone, let's find out uh, what's at stake, what's at store inside that video zone. What is that, uh, what's going to be going on in there? As you guys head this way to prepare yourself. So made it to my castle of doom. It is such a shame for you to have come this far only to die. And to think, I was even beginning to like your challengers. We're here to rescue King Donut from your hideous hooves. No longer will you sour this land with your evil. Time to face reality, you equine imbecile! Face reality? <laughs> The only reality you're going to face is my reality. Welcome to my virtual world. Yeah, 
All right, so right now the red team is in the back preparing. They're going to have to do some things. They have three rounds that they're going to have to go through in order to try to come out victorious and walking away with the grand prize. Uh, let me tell you what's going to be happening. In round one, they'll face off against Buck's horde of candy-coated champions. They're going to have to duck and dodge and shoot all the spearmints, but beware of the evil strawberry shortcake and the donut of doom. But, hey, if they make it past that level, they're going to win this. You'll win an official MAGFest t-shirt. <laughs> wait, wait, there we go. There you go. Give it up for Nugget Vanna White right there with doing that beautiful t-shirt. Thank you so much. All right, so now in round two, they will need to sneak their way inside Buff's castle, but only if they, sh only if they shove this um, confounding puzzle cake and match all the missing cake pieces to their stands. If they can do it, they're going to walk away with this prize. You will win a MAGFest delicious coffee mug. Ah. Wow, that just kind of reminds me of, this kind of reminds me of a grandma sweet tea in Batman versus Superman. <laughs> see, if we can get, see if we can get Nugget to fill that up for us. <laughs> All right, so that would be round two. Round three, if you can do this, you will climb your way to, uh, I'm sorry, if, to win this, you'll have to climb to the top of the cake summit and give Buff his just desserts. Assemble the cakes in the conveyor belt and then place them onto the catapult. Aim and deliver sweet revenge and save the Donut King. Now, if the red team is able to complete the first task, the second task, and then the third task, hey, Rochelle, tell them what they're going to win. Two tickets to next year's MacFest. <laughs> We're talking two tickets to paradise, yeah. Two tickets to MAGFest next year. That is what they're playing for. That is what is at stake. So right now, listen, we watched them come from behind uh, victory. They walked away just smoking the entire thing. How do you, the audience, think the red team's going to do? You think they're going to take it? How many people think they have not a snowball's chance in hell? All right, well, listen, we're going to see in a second. They're getting all geared up. They're doing a little run-through. Um, this is going to be, like I said, this is my first Mac Fest. I've had a great time. Have you been having a great time so far? Yeah. How you doing? All right, so it gives me a little chance to come out here and say hello to folks. I've been running around. I've been playing video games all day. I'm, the, I'm walking to the front. I'm walking to the back. What's going on? Um, so listen, uh, uh, so I want you to remember to like, cheer for your folks, cheer for the guys. Um, this is for everything. Like I said, the biggest thing they're going to win is tickets back here next year. You all know how much this costs to get in here. It, and they're going to come back. What? Huh? That's right. <laughs> <laughs> I, I just wanted to tell you, security's coming right now. I just want you to know. It was her, not me. It was her. It was me. Is that no? I was kidding. <laughs> um, okay, so listen. When uh, now, listen. We got a we got a little bit of time here. Um, everybody, uh, what are you gonna go to next? Let me tell. Let me hear what you're gonna go to next when we get there. Power glove. Arcade room. I'm gonna be in the arcade room. Just letting you know. Uh, I'm gonna be playing some stuff here. Uh, right now, we're just waiting for everybody to get ready. As soon as I get the word in my ear that the guys are ready to go, then we will take you into the zone with them, where, again, they're going to have to go through three separate levels to try to beat Buff in the VR zone. Once they do that, they're going to win a variety of different things. Oh, look, they're getting all ready. Oh, look at that right there. All right. All right, guys, are we ready to go? I see stuff up, but in my ear, how's it going? Are we ready, guys? Okay. Okay. All right, good. It's funny because I, I, I'm talking to somebody, but every time I hear, I hear a bleep, and then I don't hear what he says, but he said he's good. Give me a thumbs up if it's good back there. All right, we're good back there. I'm good up here. Are you guys ready? All right, nothing to it but to do it. This is for all the marbles, 60 seconds on the clock. Guys, whenever you're ready, on your mark, get set, go. Start. All right, they're in level one right now, and so it begins. Okay. 
And remember, be careful of the strawberry shortcake. Watch out for the donut of doom. And basically shoot every darn thing else up in there. All right, you're doing great. You're ready. Got it with the 500. You're doing all right. 35 seconds left in this room. You got to get up there. Come on, keep going. All right, you're almost there. Keep going. Don't slow down. 30 seconds left. Hurry up. 30 seconds left in this level. Come on. All right. All right, so now we're in the second room. 22 seconds over there. All right, keep building, keep building, keep building. Okay, you got another one? Keep going, keep going. Put the cake on the stand, okay? We gotta get those cakes on the stand rebuilt. Come on, keep going. You have 10 seconds left. You have 10 seconds left. That's watermelon, no! Yes, all right! They're going on to the third round. All right, the last one. This is for everything. This is for everything. The assembly line, the conveyor belt. Assemble the cakes on the conveyor belt and then place them into the catapult. Come on, you gotta, you, come on, there's a catapult, but you gotta assemble the cakes on the conveyor belt. Oh, I don't know. Um, I don't know, it's my first time. <laughs> <laughs> All right, so it looks like they didn't make it. Is that what we're being told? Or they did make it? Oh, they ran. Oh, okay, all right. That's why I went blank here. Okay, so according to what's happening right now, the, the reason why it came back to me is, unfortunately, they ran out of time, which means they didn't win. Uh, but you know what? You know what? Uh, they didn't win. Uh, I don't know what's going to happen. Um, Buff, please, go easy on the guys. Uh, I know that uh, you have a... Well, well. It appears you and your challengers have met their inevitable end. As for King Donut, I shall enjoy him with a nice glass of milk. <laughs> I hope he's lactose intolerant. <laughs> well, listen, folks, give a round of applause to all of our contestants that came up here today. Guys, you did a great job. Yellow team, one more time for them. Thank you for coming out to Versus the Mad Fest 2018. My name is Phil Moore. Thanks for coming. See you next time.